I know this is much too long and um, I don't know how to make it shorter. I'm sure a movie director could figure out how to take out an awful lot of information that they would consider not important, but I don't know how to do that. So I'm going to read you um, what I got from Fred Nelson and the symptoms of anyone suffering from being poisoned without them realizing that that's what's happened to them. Chronic fatigue syndrome, chronic viruses, candidiasis, alcoholism, chronic flu or asthma, allergies, food or drug addictions, cerebral brain dysfunction, hyperactivity, thyroid problems, Alzheimer's bleeding disorders, violent mood swings, erratic behavior, mini strokes, gastritis, cardiovascular diseases, migraines, cancer, dementia, memory dysfunction or complete loss, such as what happened to me, learning disabilities, autism, schizophrenic-like episodes, that's um, caused from drugs and chemicals. Um, there are other forms of schizophrenia, such as my cousin that is genetic, that's a whole different factor. Um, so that's why it's called schizophrenic-like episodes. The new medical marijuana is causing uh, addiction and schizophrenic-like episodes. They are being poisoned, for example. Muscular dysfunction, which is what happens to me. The cerebral part of the brain, um, um, at the very top of the head, there is a signal that goes, electrical signal that goes to all your muscles. And in my case, it mainly affects me from the waist down as well as my uh, thinking. But often it's just crippling and not my brain. It depends on what's poisoning me. Um, canola oil, for instance, it's, 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 I go into shock, so I, I can die. There's, and same with cod, um, totally allergic. But the real word is chemically hypersensitive. These cod is is really not a healthy fish um, it's a sucker fish anyway sudden crippling or paralysis attacks irrational phobias or paranoia immune deficiencies chemical hypersensitivities now these are just a few symptoms of parkinsonism chemonosis any disease caused by being chemically poisoned toxic shock syndrome eventually leads to death by cardiac arrest or by mysterious infections all of which i had that spread rapidly causing death and um, most of the time or misdiagnosed or never diagnosed is what happened to me. And while in New York, the neurologist urged me to change the name of my disease to Parkinsonism, chemonosis is from 1775 and it is too ancient a terminology for doctors or people to, to accept. Parkinsonism may be more acceptable to their egotistical ignorant arrogance because it is listed in the Mosby Medical Dictionaries in the United States. You won't find it in Canada. And Parkinsonism um, is what I have been using since 1989. And I do have legal recognition. More than me have received uh, disability assistance uh, and have been legally recognized uh, by Health Canada that it is a disease. Not that they're doing anything to stop it or prevent it, but We've got legal recognition, so they can no longer say we don't exist. And they've done that with lupus and with, uh, oh, they've done that with the West Nile virus, for God's sakes. That's how dumb we are. Anyway, um, this is May 2019 and nothing has changed but me. Having completed all my research into okra diets for disease control, what causes diseases and the symptoms of diseases caused by canola oil and all chemicals, I've uploaded that to all of the websites, Facebook, YouTube, it's all there, so that some of thing I'm hoping will live after I die. And I just lost my page. That's what happened when you're not a pro. Well, I'm 77, what do you want? Perfection, it ain't me. Anyway, I never expected to get published. And I've gone as far as I can. I've sent the information to every doctor, holistic and health ma food magazine, coast to coast. I've gone all over the internet and I've tried and I can't get anyone to uh, pay any attention to it. 
because the benefits of raw okra are, are just miraculous. There is no other words to describe it. Um, I'm now on a course and can explain myself easily the horror of my life. I was obviously allergic to alcohol, so drugging me was very easy. Predators quickly recognized that and took advantage of my undiagnosed disease, which made me a helpless target and still does, such as what Doug McIsaac did to me and my brother and my lawyer, Trent Faldine and so many others. But today, that's nothing still hasn't changed. Doug McKay, Dan McIsaac is still my protector and when my mother lied to me for 18 years and my brother committed legal fraud using our secret filing law as a tool and I lost our home and all, all our investments and the lawyer took the risk and made me homeless. I moved in with Dan full time. Well, I was there anyway because of the tumor but I had not expected. I thought he, we were going to keep the house but anyway, another dream down the toilet. He has always taken care of me to the best of his ability, but nothing on earth could protect me from laws that are an invitation to commit crime, that are legal, a court and medical system so corrupt that I was doomed to fail from the start. Yes, I should have stayed in New York. I should have accepted Elizabeth Taylor's offer to help, and I've made too many bad decisions in my entire life, partly because of disease and partly because of my parents who brainwashed me and the society in which I was raised in. I tested many gas masks and the one I wore the longest was easiest to carry and the filters were activated charcoal. But they would only last as long as I got them wet and since I sew I made little leatherette breathable rain caps for material I got from a local fabric store. More recently I have the advantage it's even lighter um, and there's no words to describe uh, how awesome this advantage MSA gas mask is. I mean, it's ridiculous. I, I've been in extremely toxic environments and the filters are just unbelievable. And no, they're not activated charcoal, but they're a hundred percent. I've been in diesel fumes and they a hundred percent protect me. It's uh, some kind of a new technology. I don't know what it is, but boy, is it ever good. And uh, yes, I still wear a little, put a little rain cap on it because um, I, I'm out in the rain and I'm out in the snow, but they're easy to protect. The bubble gas mask did its job. It gave me the publicity I needed to survive in New York. And there are no words to describe my gratitude to MSA executives in Pittsburgh. They're simply wonderful. They were more than willing to help me research and sent me numerous different gas masks to test. And the advantage is for me right now, the best. It's the newest and the best. I am grateful to the help of the Americans and the American United Steelworkers Union from the United States not Canada, they didn't give a damn, and that I was anonymously responsible to bring our military, firemen, miners, and men in the mines an excellent MSA gas mask equipment, which not only will protect them from my disease, but protect their children from being born with it. It's worth noting that if a man is poisoned, he passes genetic predisposition to his children and not just women. That was covered in a four-year study reported by the National Centers for Disease Control and the National Centers on, on, on Drug Abuse. And Dr. Jaffe, who spoke to me in 1990 by phone, he helped me understand better my condition of being so addictive and chemically hypersensitive. And if I'd been diagnosed as a child with allergies, allowed the right to choose what I eat, food not containing rapeseed, canola oil, and toxic chemical additives, I would have never become the out of control victim that I am today with Parkinsonism. All the proof that ever was needed was known for decades and since 1775 to be exact, we humans are not very smart. We allow for dictators to rule us and call it a democracy. Health Canada is the most fascist dictatorship 
on the planet. They answer to no one but themselves. And they refuse to allow Canadians any right to know what's in our food. If you buy anything from Europe or the United States, all ingredients are on the label. No, it won't identify what's genetically engineered, but at least the ingredients are there. You won't get that in Canada. I would spend 18 years taking care of my mother at the expense of my research. And I'm not sorry that I did that, but I'm just sorry that I allowed her to manipulate me so that my work would fail to save children. And then we became the victim of real estate laws. Now you need to remember that I made national leaders in royal trust in real estate investments. That means I was in the national leaders coast to coast in Canada. Yeah. That's how far up the ladder I was. And I got there very quickly with the help, of course, my business partner at the time. No question about it. But I was also very talented and very knowledgeable. And if I, as an agent, and had worked in real estate for 23 years on and off as a consultant to various um, private clients, and I didn't know what our laws were. How are you supposed to know what our laws are? It took me 18 years and over $200,000 in legal fees to get that information. And you want to know the truth? It was readily available for free. Winnipeg government by email sent me what I needed. And a lawyer in Newfoundland, St. John's, sent me what I needed for free. So all that money I spent in all those years, I was never told the truth. I had to go to the police to even find out that my brother had put his name on title. And I didn't even have the legal right to know that. That's our law. And that property was belonged to me and my mother, legally. Only we never got title to it, because he stole title. And we're not unique. Thousands and thousands of people every year in Canada lose their homes and their investments, in their senior years particularly, and nobody gives a damn. Well, I gave a damn. And I tried, but nobody cared. Not one media in Canada would help me. In fact, no one would in the United States either, even though I did send it to the Huffington Post and the Washington Post because Americans buy Canadian properties and they should know that they have no legal protection as a registered owner from title fraud and mortgage theft. So, I mean, what can I tell you? The internet has not benefited me one iota. Everything I got, I got before the internet. I have since had some help, saved my mother's life because of Google having information that I couldn't get from the doctor. Yes, that's true. But for the most part, the FDA in Washington gave me the information I needed before the internet and after the internet. And they've never been a problem for me. And I'm not an American. Secret filing is banned and it's a criminal law that was designed 2,000 years ago by a Roman dictator. And you can look up my website if you're interested or if you have property or you're planning to buy. For God's sakes, look it up. Once I became a victim of a society so corrupt, it makes Russia look democratic. Every politician lawyer has known that for over 300 years and they don't give a damn. Now, GMO, genetically modified engineered foods, is a topic I'm not going to discuss. I have taken attacks from food that looked like one thing and turned out to be genetically altered from something else. Health Canada is now introducing a GMO fish that 
will kill many children, and there's no question about it. And they're, they're not required on the label to uh, identify what, what fish is it, it is. So if you're allergic to, to, to fish, uh, I don't know what to tell you. It's not going to say it's a GMO fish, and it's not going to tell you what it is. So uh, good luck, Canada. And Canadians themselves are so apathetic, they get the government they deserve. Now that's a quote from an American back in 1968. Never understood what he meant, but I sure do today. And it's true. But the children do not deserve to have less rights than a stray dog. Splicing pesticides into GMO seeds to kill bugs, of course, is endangering the very existence of our species. Raw okra is God's creation to save us from ourselves. When I was a child, I estimate that about 1.3% were being born susceptible like me. And today I th figure it's got to be about 30% because I've met so many people over the last 30 years that... Um, and, and so many children, the autism, for instance, and the learning disorders has, has dramatically increased. And that's not an accident. That's a cause. We're being poisoned. And as we're poisoned, we pass a genetic predisposition to our children. And the claims that we live longer are extremely deceptive as we are being poisoned then. Such is our insanity to be given poison as drugs to keep us alive, but at what cost? I mean, that's not really a recommendation. My grandmother, my great grandmother lived to uh, 102 or something like that. She never had a drug a day in her life. And because of their farming, in today's world, we would say that it was organic. They didn't consider it organic. They just didn't use chemicals. And there is a system of farming that's really ancient that uh, is, was well known to the French anyway, uh, and, and Europe. And my mother's ancestors arrived from France and Normandy in um, 1636. So their farming skills had been handed on down for hundreds of years. Now, rapeseed oil alias canola oil was banned in the F by the FDA in the United States until 1994 because it had proven, and there is scientific proof, and I have the evidence, and I put it out on Facebook and on my websites that it causes the symptoms of my disease to animals that ate it. Health Canada's fascist corruption falsified scientific reports to get the FDA ban lifted and since then it has spread worldwide. I personally am living with dying one day at a time. When I can dance, I dance. When I can cross country ski, even though I may be in pain, unable to climb, I ski any day I can. Otherwise, I am housebound, sick, and working on my computer, trying to save myself in the hope that something of my research will save someone one day at a time. As a trained model, I learned very young, if I look good, people will treat me better than if I look sick. And it helped me feel better about myself. I'm not proud to be a Canadian. It is a false, unjust, undemocratic, corrupt country with laws designed by criminals for criminals. Our health laws, there aren't any. Health Canada is on the take to industry. Completely corrupt. Our real estate laws are so criminal, they're banned and should be so in Canada. It took me my entire lifetime and everything I owned to get my hands on the documented evidence only to discover I had no community support, no voice, and I wasn't worth keeping alive. A special thank you to all those Americans who helped me and those few Canadians, Jill, Brian, Helen, Colette, Lynn, Francine, Tom Murphy, deceased, killed by drugs from his doctor, and my life partner, Dan McIsaac, rescuing me for 34 years, taking me off the streets, and despite being homeless, takes very good care of me. He makes many sacrifices, hates the snow, hates the cold, but skis with me so that I get healthy. And a special thank you again to MSA Pittsburgh, who donated all the gas mask equipment. Yes, raw okra has saved my life, or I would have died 34 years ago. As for my being in jeopardy, I want you to know that Chris Independent on Lawrence Street in, Ch in Sudbury, Ontario, had Mike, their dairy and produce manager, 
bring me in cases of frozen okra. I bought a freezer. I took six a day for three days, and on day four, I pulled out of the attack. For the first time in four years, I ran up the stairs, and the next day, I went dancing, and it's too bad. I didn't have my GoPro video with me, and I did not take a bit of video of it. But I was amazing, and everybody was absolutely amazed. I was dancing like I was a teenager, and my legs were powerful. Then, if that wasn't bad enough, we had to leave our apartment. More real estate fraud. I'm not going to go into the details. It's all on my website and it's on Facebook. But bricks from negligence from Case Populaire for over a year fell off a building. And then mice infested our apartment. And obviously it was no longer safe to live there. And in February we had to leave immediately with no warning and no time to find a decent apartment the police helped me and they connected me to a woman who spends her time helping the homeless find apartments and quite frankly the internet in Kijiji and all those places they gave me a migraine headache trying to read them and understand them and there was nothing available we had to pay an extra 400 a month for a building in a very toxic area that frankly is not very safe for me at all. And after getting well, the very next day, the management used a highly toxic cleaning fluid. The whole building reeked of the fluid fumes. It invaded the apartment. By the time we figured out what it was, it was too late. Dan duct taped the, t the door to the hall and we have very expensive air filters, two of them, and we put them on 24-7 for five days. And yes, I took a major attack and I was paralyzed and in pain. However, I have this enormous supply of okra and I ate 22, yes, count them, the magic 22, because six gets me well, but it doesn't cause me to flush. 22 will flush the bowel. And I'm not suggesting you do that every day. I suggest you start with just two a day and work your way up to no more than six. Don't overdo it because you will wind up with diarrhea. And I detoxed and I am now okay again. In fact, this is why I'm doing the videos. I'm hyperactive. Yes, it is a natural amphetamine. And if I take too many, which I did, I'm having trouble sleeping. But that's okay. I don't need any sleep right now. I want to get this job done. That's what matters to me right now. It's also worth noting that the tumor in my leg is still growing and it will eventually kill me. It's a parasitical fat cell tumor feeding off a main ar artery and it cannot be operated on. Israel has a non-invasive te uh, operation technology similar to Star Wars, yeah, Star Trek. But we don't have that in North America and um, it's not going to happen any time in my lifetime. But one day at a time, I'm just taking it one day at a time. What matters is, is that all these products are known to contribute to cancer and brain dysfunction to children. They should have been banned and replaced with non-toxic products, all of which are readily available in today's world. Why should government prevent disease? We're just making too much money causing disease. And if I don't eat okra, for six weeks, then I become terminal again. So I have a very short window. For now, 
I have been assured by Chris they will make sure that I have a supply. I reported to the management how toxic their cl cleaning fluids were and they promised that they would be more careful in future. I sent out so many emails with all the proof and all the information regarding okra and I got no results. I sent it to health magazines but nobody would publish anything and I don't know why. I offered to pay a local health magazine to write up an ad for me on the miraculous benefits of okra and she refused. Now that's how crazy they are in Sudbury. When I'm feeling better, I'm going to contact Vitality Magazine in Toronto and ask them to help me do an ad and I will pay for it to be published. In the meantime, one day at a time, I am ending this with a very brief history of corruption in Canada. Well, brief in the sense that it's on four pages, but what I can tell you right now is that four pages takes a long time when you're talking. Corruption finale. When you lose your home because you have a disease that no doctor will help you with, when you lose your home due to property theft, mortgage fraud, estate embezzlement, or severance of joint tenancy on the matrimonial home, all done in secret without your knowledge or having the right to have the knowledge, something inside of you dies. It feels like your insides are crumbling, drowning in disbelief and confusion. It must be a nightmare, you tell yourself. The nightmare is real. Day after day, year after year, a nightmare, a nightmare you can never escape or ever fully recover from. Your brain explodes like a volcano reeling from the betrayal of lawyers and courts and government and Health Canada and all in collusion of your catastrophic demise. Eventually you discover the truth. Canadian laws give you no protection whatsoever. American laws give you some protection, but not enough. The legal system protects only criminals in Canada, not the victims. The American system protects the victims and sometimes the criminals. But no, they're not perfect. They're gun crazy and they're insane. We won't go there. But corruption by fascist health Canada who are legal mur murderers on the take to drug industry and food corporations, laws that promote crime and destroy lives. My full story is on a free website, rights for number four, all dash new, news dash webs dot com. I'll type it up on this YouTube website if you're interested. But right now, it includes my original photos and the YouTube videos, restricted. And that's why I'm doing this one that's not restricted. It's family friendly. And today I have no family. I never did. I just didn't know it. My new friends are my family. And it is my hope that my sight will live 200 years. And it is a story about chemicals, the silent genocide. And it is the story about okra, God's miracle. It's a story about okra raw, detox diet miracle. What it can do is unbelievable. And it is a miracle. www.okra-dietforall.com it's free. It will not outlive me. It will die when I die. It includes my bio, my autobiography in a, in a, in a different way, on the, mainly on the research, but not the full story of my life, because I didn't consider that important. I was dying at the time, and I had to make sure I got the research out. So it includes 66 years of toxic chemical and disease research, going back 
2,000 years in history that I got from American agencies and historical documents worldwide. And it's proven with my own Parkinsonism disease is not the only one, but with many others, including autism in some cases. It would depend on just to what degree your brain damage is. But I can tell you that my mother, when she took that seizure, she would have been a vegetable in a wheelchair in a nursing home. And she spent the next 11 years dancing with 100% memory. And that was because of okra, the okra diet and detox that I put her on. So sadly, when I discovered the truth, I was 70 and too late for a cure. If I'd known the truth earlier and boycotted Canadian food earlier, I was easy to cure. Raw okra, my discoveries, diet program through food, not drugs, worked. And a side effect is superior brain power and anti-aging. Now, I wasn't trying to look younger. I'm just trying to stay alive. My dear friend Len Voisey wrote it all up for me. And sometimes the website is not functional. You have to use Google, not Apple Safari, to get there. Now, I spent 30 years desperately trying to share my discoveries with the world, how to control paralyzing brain dysfunction, repair nerve damage, autoimmune disorders, seniors' anti-aging diets for disease control, which worked on my mother, like osteoporosis and Paget disease. Yes, I also have that diet on Facebook. How to switch from toxic foods that are killing you, systematically poisoned, ban rape seed and canola oil, and switch to using olive oil or coconut oil and organic as much as possible. All of that's on my website, and I posted it all to, to Facebook. Bad foods to healing foods. I did videos. That's on YouTube and on my websites. Now, I did all that while I was sick, people. God knows what I'd be like if I'd ever been well. Raw okra eaten daily suddenly did restore my lost memory, increase my brain power beyond my wildest dreams, and detoxify safely and is completely non-addictive, reversing paralyzing terminal attacks, acting like obitrol, a natural amphetamine. My okra for life system, diets, helps me to survive terminal attacks, so I live with dying, going from death to dancing, crippling to paralyzing attacks, to climbing hills, cross-country skiing. The brutality I endure since the age of six is not a future I want for your children. Sadistically killing of children and people with allergies by Health Canada is by far, there isn't a word to describe how heinous that, that agency is, and every one of them should be in jail for they are murderers and continuing to deny us the right to know what is in our food by legislation. But you also have to blame our, our political system and our premiers of, of, and, and our politicians and our members of parliament and the prime minister, Justin Trudeau. Yes, Justin Trudeau. How many hundreds of times did I write an email to him and I didn't even get as so much as kiss my butt reply. Yes, welcome to my world. My Parkinsonism was caused by toxic chemicals, but it's not the only thing, as I have pointed out to you. Americans have my disease and have had it just as long as it's been around for the last hundreds of years. I never ate rapeseed alias canola oil by choice. Health Canada robbed me of that right. No one diet weight loss works for everyone, so I developed one because Dan was discovering that he couldn't lose weight. He, he was on a high-protein diet. He was working out in the gym daily, extreme working out. And finally, he asked me to do a, a weight loss system. Well, I was kind of upset. I didn't want to do a weight loss system. I thought there was plenty of good ones around. What do they need me for? Well, it turns out that some people have a metabolism that's been damaged. And so even protein foods can be your personal enemy. Foods that have a negative calorie can actually stop you from losing weight. 
Now I have that system also on Facebook, on the websites, and on YouTube. In Dan's case, I put him on the okra detox, and then we followed what I call an allergy system, which I had been trained in for years. You eliminate everything first, and then you put one, you detox, and then you put one food at a time back into your diet, and you watch to see what will happen. Well, lo and behold, in his case, it turned out to be eggs. Eggs are a wonderful protein, but he couldn't lose a pound no matter how much he worked out if he ate eggs. For me, it's chocolate. It sets up binging for weeks. Yes, you can be amazed what you can discover about yourself. Plus, my senior's diet for bone and muscle building and anti-aging programs designed for people over 80 years old and 90 years old, which was for my mother. And yes, it worked. Now, she did die, but that was a direct result of clandomycin antibiotic. First, the horror of what my brother and her husband, my father, had done to her took her down to the point that it damaged her heart. And from there, when she went on clindamycin, an antibiotic, it killed her. She took three heart attacks within five days back to back. I kept her alive for an additional six months by Dr. Budra and the hospital, who Dr. Budra, God bless him. He's been rescuing me and my mother for 30 years. I knew she was going to die, but I just wanted her to have a little bit of more fun before she died. So we made sure that she was well enough to come home for Christmas and have Christmas dinner. And then they made special arrangements for her at St. Joseph's Hospice. And in fact, they didn't even put her into the hospice. They put her into, they put her into um, the uh, 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 area for people who are in recovery. And she was treated like a royal princess, and she died very happy. But 30% of the population are now suffering chronic illnesses and brain dysfunction, nerve damage, immune disorders, allergies, cancer, and it's really all chemical hypersensitivities from being systemically poisoned air, food, water, and beverages. 200 years from now, it will be catastrophic. So at 77, due to an inoperative tumor, my time is running out. While the lack of Canadian support is terrifying, I am shocked that the Americans haven't been willing to publish the story on okra. I, I'm really surprised. I guess the tabloids have gone too far into the uh, celebrity thing and making money. Um, I, I don't read them anymore. Um, I'm grateful that they helped me when they did, but they don't really help anyone anymore. And uh, I watch TMZ only because I'm interested in black culture, a culture that I have not had a great deal of experience with. And yet I identify with them greatly as victims of torture. As for rightsforrealestate.com, Billions of dollars are lost every year due to laws that promote property theft, mortgage fraud, estate embezzlement, and they rob sp spousal rights of survivorship on matrimonial homes, all done by secret filing on title without any Canadian registered owner ever having the right to be notified except for Saskatchewan. I'm not going to go into that now. But Saskatchewan is the only province in Canada that has complete protection. If I had known that, I would have moved there, except I can't think where I would ski there. Oh, I don't know. Hindsight's not necessarily beneficial. So let's stay in the moment. Today, the financial losses are so devastating. They destroy the lives of people you will never hear about because our media is part of the cover-up. Their silence is deafening. And I'm just not a good enough writer to fully express the mental, emotional anguish, incomprehensible horror, agonizing ruination to victims that they can never recover from. They simply collapse. Now, I've talked to several local. They refuse to let me use their names publicly. 
somehow, as victims, they think it's all their fault. They did something wrong. Yes, that's called victim behavior. Ever heard of it? It's rampant in Canadian society. Our educational system teaches it to us. Frankly, our children are only in school two and a half hours a day now. Our educational system has gone down the toilet. They're graduating out of university with less knowledge than I had when I was in grade six. Not much of a recommendation. Our legal court system is so corrupt and the police themselves are part of the problem. I have individual police who have tried to help me, but the police system in itself is just as criminal. They actually deliberately will use perjured testimony in court and frame innocent men to jail on some kind of a personal grudge and they're doing it in Sudbury and they're getting away with it. They beat up young men and get away with it. But our media doesn't talk about it. We're too busy talking about those nasty, bad Americans, those rotten people down in the States. Tusk, tusk, tusk. Oh me, oh my. We are so wonderful patting ourselves on the back when we are worse than they are. My mother and I lost over a million in property investments, plus over 300,000 to legal fraud and over 100,000 in legal fees with no justice for all registered owners whatsoever in Ontario and every province, with the exception of Saskatchewan. Alberta and Manitoba have since banned secret filing in 1988 and 1989, but they still don't provide the protection on the matrimonial home that, they sh that Saskatchewan has. No one should be married for 61 years and wake up at 95 and discover they don't own their house. That for, you know, what if, what if your husband gets Alzheimer's and goes completely wacko on you, which is partly what my father did, although he simply did it because it gave him sadistic pleasure. But I know of other cases where the man had Alzheimer's and he went and severed the joint tendency in secret and it's perfectly legal. Now, my new lawyer, I'm not going to mention his name, he's in his 80s, he doesn't see anything wrong with it. I have begged him to include in my lawsuit just one sentence that secret filing contributed to the fraud that my brother and my father committed, and he won't do it. I continuously repeat to him, if divorce in Canada is not allowed in secret, then why in heaven's name are you allowed in secret to sever joint tenancy, to put a mortgage in secret, without a registered owner being notified? At least get a warning so you can prepare yourself for the financial catastrophic devastation and, and, and abject poverty that's going to face you. No. He won't do it. I wrote to the Law Society. I wrote to legal blogs. I wrote to every member of Parliament hundreds of times. Doug Ford, Premier, Federal, all major national media, news, TV, coast to coast. Simply as I can, I covered everything with no results. I lost four homes in my lifetime. Millions in property investments became homeless four years trying to get through our court system rights for all Canadians. And despite the tumor in my right leg that did nerve damage and has set my health back 30 years, and the excruciating pain and daily battle for survival, I have completed all this research for your benefit, not for mine. I don't know what more I can tell you. I could go on and on, but what's the point? I think you, if, you don't, if you've gotten this far, you know what I'm talking about. Yes, I took a picture of 
these women with their babies. They are my inspiration. They are beautiful and they are young. And everything I have done, I've done for them and their children. And I need to remind myself, that's why I keep going. You have no idea how many executors sold and absconded with the money on that friggin' law. Yes, an executor has the right in secret to file and take ownership to all your properties when you die, no matter what's in the will. That's Ontario law. I don't know about the other provinces, but that law is insane. And I think it came in in 2009 or, yeah, two, I think it's 2009. Like it's a new law. How can anybody be that stupid? And then they took these laws that are already criminal in invitation to commit fraud and to steal properties. And they put it on the internet. So now people are getting their properties and more houses stolen through mortgage fraud and title theft from people from all over the planet. Yeah. I remember a guy from New Jersey saying to me, I won't use the cursing words, but he said, what a bunch of schmucks you Canadians are. This country is a haven for criminals. <laughs> yeah. That was in 1963, and I didn't understand a word he said. I do now. What my brother did to my mother and I and why the police refused to charge him with the crime is a crime in itself. My police friend is as upset as we are. He felt that they had the right to charge him with fraud and they could have stopped some of what happened to me, but they weren't willing to do it. The attitude of the police chief was, let her pay in civil court. If we charge him with a criminal fraud, the taxpayer has to pay for it. How's that for an attitude in Sudbury, Ontario, Canada people? Which one of these beautiful young mothers or their children would become another helpless victim in Canada? You now know what I've done to stop the corrupt legal injustice and try to get democratic rights. So no victim, no child should ever endure the horrific devastation and brutality and suffer as I do. The question is, what are you going to do about it? And here's a copy of that wonderful tabloid. That was in 1996. But raw okra, even though I now had the information on okra, I discovered it in 95. And I talked to both Chris at the exa uh, examiner, and that's a tabloid, and um, the son in Florida, uh, and Manny, uh, at putting um, okra in it. But they didn't want to get into that. The editor, uh, they didn't mind, but the editor. And they didn't want to talk about canola oil either. So, I don't know. It, it, they certainly couldn't have been afraid of lawsuits, but um, it, it just didn't happen. When I think if it hadn't gone in 1996, how many, how many, how many lives would have been saved? Yeah, I'll never know. So that's it, people. That's my story. That's my life. And it's time to finish. Yes. Okra raw diet detox is the miracle that saved my life. God bless. Over and out.